Hey everybody, Steam Genie here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of backtracking because I am getting fucking tired of Pterodactyl Land. I tell you, I really am. Like I'm actually getting pretty tired of it. You know, it's just so big and so boisterous. It's just like you know, I want to get like some actual shit done here. And I was watching um, what's his name, Cloud Connections video. And I was getting inspired, and I'm just like, oh, okay, so there's there's some stuff we gotta do here that we didn't really do before, or I guess that we could do now, because, like, the pace in Pterodactyl Land was just getting mad slow, and it's like, I'm doing a Let's Play. Oh, I see. Yeah, Banjo kind of jumps up, so there's just this neat little trick I learned. Uh, naturally, you could use this... I didn't even know how to get to this jiggy until I watched the Cloud Connections video, but basically you don't have that much time in front of the window, but what you can do is jump onto here and then jump onto here and then do like this... Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you could do like a grip grab kind of thing, but um, the thing I'm trying to do is, yeah, do that. Do like this kind of strategy. It's like a quick time waster. I don't really know how to do it. Uh, but it's like, yeah, you see how like when you go up and then like Banjo goes up up slightly before he actually he goes up slightly before he slams into the ground so that's how you're able to do that jump but okay now we're at 570 notes and i still haven't really restored most of the jinjo family but i just don't give a shit man i don't give a shit today i really don't because i'm just i'm just tired of doing pterodactyl and like i'm actually kind of like i'm tired of it you know and it's like it's ju it's it just really is big. Like I was watching a lot of uh, Banjo Tooie videos, so we're gonna head back to the plateau and we're going to do uh, the last Jiggy in Glitter Gulch Mine, which is taking the springy boots behind the waterfall. No, but yeah, like like Terry Dactyland so far has got to be like one of my least favorite levels because it it really is just massive, you know. And it's like the more I think about it, the more it was just about accommodating. Actually, let me just warp to the crush shed because I believe that's where the waterfall is. You're just a con like they're trying to give the illusion that there are like things big. Like I was thinking about this when I was taking a shed. It's like there are just things that are like they're trying to give off the illusion that there are things bigger than you there, and like that's why the level is so huge because it's like oh there's these dinosaurs here, whereas like everything else is kind of leveled to size with Banjo himself. To kind of seem more normal and natural, like Banjo is like the size of most people, but in Terry Dactyland, it's like just these huge platforms, and it's supposed to give off that illusion, right, of just like uh, the Western world or whatever. Okay, I don't really have much time doing this. Uh, like, yeah, I'm, yeah, they literally want you to walk across that platform because you can't do it even with the slope. Amazing. Amazing that Banjo really has to do that. So yeah, I guess Terry Dactyland for that reason has got to be one of my least favorite worlds in this game. But just like that, let's do a quick recap. We've gotten every single Jiggy in this level. We actually, we got most of the stuff in this level. I'm surprised. I mean, we got two, two Cheeto pages, two Jinjos, and 20 notes kind of just left behind but like I said I don't even care you know because I just don't want to get that stuff like I'm not I'm not gonna like stress myself out trying to find a Jinjo I don't know it's just not like really it's nothing I ever really cared about you know like 100%ing a game or something I don't know it's just about being there and hanging out like like I was talking about how when I would play Pterodactyl Land I would just split up as Banjo and Kazooie and I would just kind of roam around the game <laughs> And I didn't really know, like, you were supposed to find Jiggies and all this stuff. Like, it only just dawned on me that, like, this is a collectible, like, game. You know, like, for the longest time, like, I just created my own stories. Like, I really did, you know? I just wasn't paying attention to what you were supposed to do. You know, I just watched my, my sibling play, too. So what the fuck? Do I have all the honeycombs or not? Uh, why isn't it closer to Witchy World? It's like in its own little ethos over here. I think they did expand that jump a bit, like when you jump off of a platform while with Kazooie. I feel like they extended the time on that a bit. 
damn, I need one more honeycomb. You believe that? Some bullshit. So I was actually supposed to be still at work at this moment, but I just went home early because I just wasn't feeling it. Um, and uh, I should realistically... What should I do now? Well, we, we went back to Glitter Gulch. We got that jiggy. We went to the Red Note, Jinjo House, so... Why don't we head back to Witchy World and take care of some of those things? Well, I, before I head back to Witchy World, I want to go to Pterodactyl Land, actually, and do something kind of exciting. I'm going to, in this episode, I'm going to become the Big Daddy T-Rex, because it's not just about playing a game and doing everything right. You know, it's about providing, you know, interesting and fun gameplay. So it's just like, you know what? I'm going back into Pterodactyl Land, because going into Pterodactyl Land will make this entire fellow swoop of what we need to do much easier, uh, such as getting Scrat on the train. Uh, we're gonna have to take Scrat to ILO Hags, and then, uh, you know what, let me just, let me just get right into it. Because there's a lot of things we're gonna be doing, so we're gonna be taking Scrat to ILO Hags. Uh, maybe I should do that first, above all else. Okay, so we're gonna be taking Scrat to ILO Hags, and then we're going to scare the Oonga Boonga tribe to allow us in so that we can go through Pterodactyl Land and take care of the Boggles kids all within one fellow swoop. So we don't have to go to Pterodactyl Land, or no, to Witchy World and then backtrack here because we're going to be going to Witchy World anyway, so it just makes more sense to dedicate that time. Like, all within one fellow swoop, and I've decided that that's what I'm going to do here and now. So this is the Oonga Boongles cave. This is where we're gonna have to come to later. I'm surprised there's just a banjo and kazooie freaking pad here. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really need to be in this area. I need to find, I need to find the dinos, actually. Wasn't there a warp that allowed us into there? Is that them over there? That's what I'm saying! I have no idea where I'm going in this level, man. Like... It all just looks the same. Alright, here they are. I tell you. No, this is definitely my least favorite level. For sure. Like, I don't... I'm, I'm not appreciating this at the moment. Alright, so get out of my bag, Kazooie. We actually haven't even done the Breagle Bash move. I've completely forgot all about that. <laughs> you could just chuck Kazooie. Like, that's messed up. I mean, to think you could just do that in, um, you know, on Smash Brothers, I mean, that's really fascinating, you know, because that was a stop and swap thing that you could just do now. Good thing I still know how to do that move after, like, years of, like, just, I don't know, doing it, I guess. Like, I really just did not read what Jam Jars had to say about it. I just did it. Oh, no, this thing's evil. Jump Banjo Banjo. I could just use the pack, honestly. So, we're going to be taking Scrat to the train station. It's just a quick little thing that uh, I wanted to do. Just to get this all in, like, one motion. See, there's just, there's just no identifying anything. It's like, you know what honestly would have fucking helped? A compass. That would have been magnificent. I feel like that would have just solved all the problems here. In all, in all honesty, you know, like, if a compass just to know where I'm going? Like, didn't Mario 64 have a compass? I don't even remember, but I'm just trying to say, like... Oh, hey, there's, there's the other one! Okay, so I know where all three are. Oh, I don't have Kazooie, so I can't, I can't even get it. But okay, we could do this too. Oh, that's magnificent. Okay, you know what? I'm actually so excited I have to use the bathroom, excuse me. Ah, oh, you can't go up to Banjo, that's what I wanted to do. Anyways, returning to the game, we're gonna want to dump this giant fucking dinosaur right here. Just right here. Just chuck a- chuck right here. 
And then we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna take her to Isle of Hags and get healed up by Mumbo. Maybe we should just do that real quick. But then we gotta go get Mumbo as well. Oh man, talk about Pterodactyl Land. Oh, okay. There's just a spot over there I can hang out and chill. Wait for Kazooie. That's convenient. So I have to go all the way back to go get Kazooie. Like, Kazooie can just kind of meet us here. Fuck! Yeah, use that whack. Kazooie can defend herself now, motherfucker. I'm glad I picked Kazooie for this part of the game. Like, I, I want to do Dragon Kazooie, but I wanted to do that in Grundy Industry- Grunty- Grundy- Grunty Industries, like, when things got, you know, more grimy, you know, so Kazooie fits with the grime. Like, I like Kazooie's design, you know? I, I didn't want to- I didn't want to limit, uh, you know, the visual appearance of Kazooie Independent, especially since we did the first game. You know, seeing Kazooie just about- I mean, seeing Kazooie as a dragon is cool, but I don't know. It's whatever, I guess, by the end of the day, like, just seeing her about is, like, pretty cool. Let's do a quick recap. And the only reason I do these recaps is because I honestly forget, like, what the hell I'm doing. So somehow, we managed to get all 100 notes, which is ridiculous. We're missing one more honeycomb, which I think we have to be the big dinosaur to get. We missed, like, four Jinjos, but we got all three Monty Molehills and all two other things, and we're missing... The cheats because I just don't care. It's like, yeah, there's a Jinjo up there, but it's all a friggin' lie, I tell you. What? I only have one of these? Oh, money shot. That was a complete and utter fucking failure. I am so sorry. Well, there's nothing we can honestly do about that now, unless if, uh, are there eggs over here? Nope, there's just feathers. I find it interesting that there are feathers over here. Cause like, you know, you would think that uh, there should be, there should be eggs, you know? All right, so we've got that dinosaur in the train. And uh, I'm not entirely sure what else to do uh, in, in here. I think we should just go take care of the kids at the moment. I mean, we could just take the train to Witchy World, but... It's like, look what this game has got me doing. Like, it's got me being a freaking, like, uh, you know, like, counts or guidance-like person, you know? Like, I'm somebody's, like, you know, personal guardian or whatever, you know? It's like, oh, man, I gotta take this freaking dinosaur to the goddamn doctor, like... Yeah, that's what I feel like doing. Oh, okay, th so there, there's some eggs over here. We could retry this again. What the hell, you bastard! That actually is a pretty convenient move when you need it. Because, like, you know, you're not always going to be, like, rolling or doing something, like, advantageous like, <laughs> like that. So to be able to swing Kazooie, I, like, that was incredibly convenient. Especially, it got him in one fellow swoop. You saw that? Like, Kazoo Kazooie is one resilient bird. You know, and there's just so much more you could do to take advantage of, the, like, of the elements in this game, you know? That, like, you can't really do in, like, Banjo-Kazooie, you know? Alright, excellent. Yeah, get him in the buttocks. Uh, I said get him in the buttocks. No, get him in the buttocks. Not. Yeah, there's two of them. So, I guess I should just take care of this now. I mean, we're 14 minutes in and I feel like I haven't gotten anything done, but... You know, I said that I wanted to... I didn't want to do any more backtracking. Uh, that, that came out of my lips, but... The sad reality is... Well, it, not that I didn't want... I wanted to do backtracking. Not that I didn't want to do any backtracking. I said I wanted to do backtracking, but... Hmm, you know, uh, we're, we're just gonna try and take care of this right now. I need to go to the top of the mountain. I still haven't hatched all of her kids. Yeah, this level fucking sucks, man. I'm sorry. It just fucking sucks. It's like, oh man, like dinosaur shit. And then it's like, what? You gotta go, you gotta run errands for children? And then what? You know, like, 
You gotta take care of pterodactyls kids, you gotta take care of these dinosaur kids. And the level, like, lags. <laughs> Come on! This level sucks. Ah, yeah, this is definitely the worst level in the game. I mean, I'm kind of, like, probably over, like, being overzealous about it. I'm just like, oh, this level sucks, this level sucks. I mean, I'm, I'm just a little agitated by it because uh, I love this game so much, right? You know, and it's actually, like, something I enjoy playing. So it's very disappointing that this, like, kind of sucks. And then it's like this. I mean, I don't even, like, other than the fact that I had fun, like, running around it. In terms of, like, an objective-based, like, thing, this sucks. Wait, so where is the, um... No, there's not him. There's uh, there's one guy in red that kind of like loops around. Oh my god. Oh. This is painful. All right, you know what? Just, just fuck all of this then. I hate finding these guys. Like this is terrible. Oh, is it over there? Nah, I don't even care anymore. It's mumbo jumbo time. I'm serious. We're going to see mumbo jumbo because I don't want to take care of these damn kids right now. I want to turn into a fucking dinosaur. It reminds me of Conker's Bad Fur Day all over again, you know? It's like, why do I gotta take care of these people's kids? Like, just take my freaking, like, glo like, a uh, globo, mumbo. Like, what? Yeah, we got a globo. Of course I want your help, mumbo. Honestly, I will never get over how creepy the Nintendo 64, or, um, the the Xbox 360, like, made the dialogue images of, like, everybody's faces. Like, it's supposed to be HD and shit, but, like, I think it looks terrible. Alright, so here we are as Mumbo Jumbo in Pterodactyl Land. Mumbo can take warps, right? Yeah, we gotta go outside of Wumba's Wigwam. Yeah, look at how slow everything gets. Is it really worth it, Rareware? Was the slow frame rate really worth it? Well, we're about to find out in this moment right here. And just like that, Wumba's wigwam is now big as fuck. That's kind of exciting, right? I think, uh, actually, I think actually the, uh, the guy that we need to find is up there. Uh, so why don't we head to the world entry and exit because there's also one more thing that Mumbo has to do. He has to restore the dinosaur size of one of the dinosaur's children. No, that's not it. The dinosaur's children has the ramp. Oh! What the hell? Mumbo can't get up there? What? But Mumbo's gotta get in there. Are you kidding me? This music is not helping me right now. Does Mumbo have ledge climb? No, I guess not. Yeah, what the hell? I guess Mumbo maybe has to come in by the train. I don't know. Oh my 
God. This is terrible. I'm never gonna get out of here. <coughs> terrible. Oh, but even if Mumbo comes in through the train, that doesn't fucking do anything. Ah, oh, God. I guess that's all Mumbo can do. Okay, so, uh, sorry about that. Why don't we just head back to the Mumbo Jumbo place where we will be associating with Banjo and Kazooie and transferring ownership of the game's soul to them. And we don't really have to, at any point, change Wumba's wigwam back. Oh, whoops. I went to Wumba's. Yeah, I should go to Mumbo's. It's honestly a little scary when the frame rate slows down. It's like, holy damn. Uh-uh. Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. I like how all it is is like, he just sits down in his chair. <laughs> oh, I like how he has this whole ass, like, upper level area, you know? It's like, Mumbo's really pimped out. Like, what even is this green stuff here? Or, like, this magic, you know? This is genius. It's like Spongebob or something. It's like a pineapple. Here, wait, that's interesting. Okay, so when we do it in front of Mumbo's house, the frame rate's normal. But then when we do it in front of here, it slows down. Alright, so we're gonna go outside of Wumba's wigwam and we're gonna turn into a giant freaking dinosaur. I just can't believe I ran around and wasted all that time. Yeah, and when I was younger, I would, like, switch it back and forth, back and forth, and I'd be like, this is so tedious. Like, why would they do this? Oh, man, everything's so big. One would call this Daddy T-Rex. Use control stick to move and B to... fucking roar. Damn. Right? Like, damn. Holy shit. I can't even talk to this dinosaur. Like, yo, what's up? Damn. Look at this dinosaur, man. Holy shit. I mean, this is pretty cool, I guess, but god. Alright, so I think we could take the boots up there, and that's where we're gonna find the other guy. Oh yeah, definitely nothing affects us as the daddy T-Rex. Oh yeah, and Mumbo could make these things bigger, but I didn't do that. Because I just activated the warp. I mean, this is pretty cool, you know? I mean, I guess, like, I could compromise and say, like, that this makes up for everything. You know, and how, like, shitty it all is. It's just the fact that you could be a giant T-Rex and it's like, yo, this is the Nintendo 64. Like, you don't get to play as freaking Banjo. Oh, is that where the honeycomb is? Alright, I'll take note of that. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's up there or something. I don't know. It said it was behind the, uh, the waterfall. Oh, this is pretty great. Wow. Aye, that's scary. We must go change loincloth. And that's all you gotta do. Just like that, you could walk through here. Nice. I'm actually happy I was able to get that. I think only my foot could, like, pick it up. 
Oh, hey, look at this. A switch. And that reveals to us a Jinjo. And what, I'm just supposed to get 35 seconds to go get it and, like, transform and come back? How about pass? I'm not gonna do that, Rareware. Oh, I mean, it is right here, I guess. Well, I mean, since it was that convenient. And would you believe it? That's all we needed to do as the big T-Rex. Bow, wow, 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 wow. And yeah, we've done all we needed to as the little T-Rex. I mean, it's only those two things. I mean, that was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. You know, that really... I feel like that does make up for everything. Alright, so I got the first yellow Jinjo out of two. Two more I need out. I'm sorry. Out of three. <laughs> Alright, so let's take these boots up here. Yep, it's right here. This is where the other guy is. Hmm. Yeah, with this you gotta like... I always, like, jump forward and jerk the controller back. Oh, uh, oh, okay. That's where the, that's where the jiggy was. What the hell? You never get jiggy from Rock Nuts Tribe. Ah. You could see me, huh? I'm like, does this have to do it? Yeah, he'll always turn where we are. Commando. You got 20 seconds. They really make you work for this. Narg! All go shape of the pair, but still one of us left. Oh yeah, well we're gonna get him. And you'll you'll re you'll remind yourself how reminiscent of this is that this is bleh, of um. You'll remind yourself of how reminiscent this is of the Banjo Kazooie level, in uh. What was it, Bubble Gloop Swamp? Yeah, bubble goop swamp with the alligators, and you're like shooting them in the mouth. It's like that's what this is like. All right, so now that we're back at Wumba's Wigwam, why don't we head back to the entrance and try and get that last guy? I only got three left. And there's one more honeycomb piece. I know where it is, so I gotta go get it, man. Alright, so how are we going to do this? Is it really that simple? Wow, it is. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that simple. That's excellent, okay. And just like that, we've gotten how many jiggies so far? Six out of ten jiggies. I don't know how Mumbo was supposed to restore that um, other uh, dinosaur, but I guess we're going to figure that out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab this here. This here uh, honeycomb piece, because I know that this is what this is. Man, the frame rate is slowing down. This Is this really taking up a lot of frame rate right now? 
I actually had to, I had to turn down my game volume. I was kind of losing my mind there. Holy shit, this takes you somewhere? River Passage. No! No! Oh my god! That's not what I wanted. Alright, so I just had to do that again. Talon trot our way over here. Great, so now we can fill up that that health. Let's get the hell out of here. What the hell? Alright, I'm just gonna head to the entrance. Okay, so here I am at the entrance. I didn't really do anything else except just kind of speed things up by uh, wanting to get over here. So, there's nothing we have to do now. Oh, you know what? Let's head back to the Styrosaurus cave. I honestly don't know how to get Mumbo up there. I'm just like... Like, do I have to just jump up? I'm just like, you know what's... Like, I don't even know if it's worth it to get the dinosaur... ...fixed. Unless if Mumbo can, like, you know... Like, he's gotta, like, find his way up here. You know what? I shouldn't even do this unless if I can get Mumbo up here. Okay, so for all you people who are having problems with this, I actually found the perfect solution. If you don't know how to get up that slope as Momo Jobo, just go ahead and warp to the top of the mountain. Because if you're on top of the mountain, then that means you can just jump down to the platform. So anybody who has this problem, this is what you can easily do. I mean, it takes a little bit of time to like figure out exactly where you're supposed to go. But I would say this is the best solution you have if you're having trouble figuring out how to like glitch your way up top to where you're supposed to go unless if you're a freaking moron like me who just almost died trying to do it no way i thought i thought this was kind of funny hey you can't get in here is that sort of creature <laughs> like what calls him a creature isn't that hilarious mumbo's just a creature all right, yeah, so you'll notice that you're at the S part here of the uh, area which takes you to the... <coughs> uh, the area which takes you to the upper part here, and then see, there you are. That's the, uh, that's where the dinosaurs are. And that's the, right there is the slope you can't get up. So, I mean, realistically, I don't have any health right now, so if I jump, I'm gonna get hurt. <laughs> But that's how you do it. <laughs> Back at it again with a full stock of health, no problem. <laughs> I mean, look, it works, okay? Like, I don't know any other way to do this. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I, I tried to look it up before, okay? And I, I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. Like, I got no results, and I was just like, okay. But then I'm just like, right. I'm like, you could teleport to the top of the mountain. So I'm just like, this is the best... This is the best way of doing it, I would think. You know what? My instincts tell me to go with this. This line on the wall here. My instincts would be right. And just like that, you can get a top, you know, without needing a glitch, you know, without, you know, anything. It's like, this This is just what you gotta do. I mean, you know, Mumbo has a freaking skull for a head. What, he can't walk around a level? Anyways, I, I just figured this out. Like, this is literally something I just thought to do, like, on my own. Like I said, I tried to look it up and it didn't, and nothing helped, so I was like, okay, I want to get this Jiggy because I brought up Healing Scrat, and it's just like, if I can't get Mumbo in here, then I'm not gonna get this Jiggy. No, this level sucks. I'm sorry. Like, the fact that you have to do this, it just sucks. Mumbo has to do two things for these fuckers, like... Perhaps he'll find a girlfriend now and move out. All right, so now we have to get the other one. No, nah, but that's excellent. So that's just finished. Bum 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 bum. Oh, 
And like I said, there's no glitch involved, there's no nothing. It's like, that is really just something I just came up with, like, on the spot. Oh, right, there's no Jiggy. I was gonna, like, check for progress. So now we've got to turn back into Mumbo. Or now we've got to turn back into Banjo and Kazooie. And I guess at this point, why don't we just... I mean, what should we do? I'm asking, I'm asking the audience, like, they're interacting with me, but I don't know what to do. Because I still feel like I still gotta go get Boggles Kids and do the Oonga Booga Cave, and I gotta heal Scrat and get the Jolly Roger Jiggies, because I figured that out. You know what? Why don't I go get the Jolly Roger Jiggy? Just because, like, it's kind of fitting in the tone with what I'm doing, like, in terms of, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess, like, no, I'm pretty much, this was a Terry Dactyl Land episode. You know, I just became a fucking T-Rex. Boggles Kids, the Oonga Boonga, Scrat Heel, and Jolly Roger Jiggy seems more like a backtracking type episode. So I think I'm just going to end it off here and then just continue in the next one. Alright, goodbye.